Hello everybody, this is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19 Season 2. I just found out that if your grass is not fully grown, you can't cut it. It just doesn't happen. Uh, so, I was going to do a whole lot more cutting and baling here, but I don't really have that option now. So, I'm only going to be cutting and baling this section here. And uh, I'm doing this section over, or I'm doing this specifically for silage. Uh, it's one of the things that I wanted to get at least a little bit of for the cows once we get them here and feed them properly. Uh, we're not going to be chopping any corn, so I figured the easiest way is to just make some grass bales basically, or what I would consider haylage bales. I'm very tempted to dig up this whole area over here and actually make it into a proper field. But uh, we don't have a plow yet. That's something we're going to be getting today. You see today is day 10. Uh, so halfway through, almost halfway through mid, or late autumn I should say. Um, we're getting pretty far into the, into the season here. Should be able to lift them both up. And didn't shut down the front one. There we go. Let's uh, let's turn around here. We're a little quicker when we drive this direction. Uh, so yeah, this field I'm not gonna be able to cut. It's not gonna grow far enough. And I was actually really worried. I checked in on it yesterday when it was raining, uh, previous day, and. It was showing all of the corn as being not grown yet. Uh, it was not at the final stage. But I checked today, and it is very much on the final stage, which is important. Uh, so we're going to be able to take corn off, but I can't do that yet. Um, it's considered too wet. You can see that up there, so I figured, well, let's just cut some grass. And uh, we should be able to merge it got the merger over here and we should be able to bail it up right away uh, turn it into silage uh, so let me make some rows up here and uh, we'll see if we can get this sucker baling uh, you notice the grass itself or the hay looks really green there we go what that's telling you is, is it's in the wet form um, I think I cut it it was at like 40 40 percent moisture it's got to be below that 20 22% I think um, so this is the official like what looked like officially fresh cut hay did in the original game um, and that's what this portion is for for seasons no I don't want to fold it back up um, so that's all it is normally you would I missed some there you would tether this. I think we're going to miss a whole bunch of it here. Just because of the lay of the land, but it was the only stuff that I could really cut. That would give me a decent amount here. So I'm going to come back through and see if I can clean this up a bit and make it a little better. But uh, yeah, normally you just tether this. Look at all that stuff we're missing. And it would turn into the lighter colored one that would then need to be dried in the sun. And once it dries far enough in the sun, you would actually have the ability to bale it up as hay. But we're not looking to do hay. We're looking to do grass here. So this is just fine for us. Let's see if I can actually make some decent rows here and get some bales baled up here. So now is where the actual fun begins. This is what I wanted to do a little while ago. Um, it should actually work now. <laughs> so, this will be fun. I just want to unload the bales here. We do have one hay bale on here. That was from a previous time. That was what was in the bale chamber. So there's, what, 11 hay bales on, or uh, grass bales, as they call it. What is the possibility to be silage bales? So I just kind of want to drop them off here. There. That's not so bad. 
we'll drop off the transporter right here. Uh, actually, I'll probably end up going to that shed. I'm putting all the hay materials or hay equipment over there. You done, buddy? Hold it up. So now let's see how this wrapper works, because this is what I'm excited for. This is what I wanted from the beginning. I still may go in and try to edit files to make this work. I want to get a better... There we go. So if I grab you, and I bring you over here... I'm going to drop you into there. Oh, we probably should... Uh... There we go. We had to uh, unwrap the... Alright, let's... Uh... Now we'll have to see if it actually pushes them along or if it drives along. Because that will change where I might have this. Um... If I put them in sideways, does it correct itself? Go down like that. Yeah, it does. Oh no, I ran into them. See, they're supposed to be able to push it along. Or it's supposed to drive along on its own. That's how it works in real life. But we'll have to let these sit. I think it's going to sit for, I want to say, four to five days, like in-game days. Remember if it's only a third of a season, so that would be four days. Oh, I did take it. Um, and then these will turn into silage. Okay, it is driving forward. Good. Because that's pretty much where I wanted it to start. I didn't want it to push it out past the shed. So that'll work perfect for me. And then when we're done putting all these in, um, it should allow us to finish up the cycle. And we'll have a whole bunch of silage bales sitting here. At least not a whole bunch, but 11 of them. There we go. Get the hay bale out of the way. <laughs> now can I grab... Oh, they're already starting to decay, huh? I see they're below 4,000. So what happens if I try to drop like two of them in there? So I did one, and then the other one got stuck. I thought I picked you up there. I like that it's not perfectly even. Notice the roll is kind of offset a little bit. It's kind of nice because it actually puts them, like, packages them all together. So we got three more here. I don't always get to see my loader work. It is definitely easier to do loader work though from outside the tractor than it is from inside the cab. Uh, except for when you think that you have the tines at the right height and you find out that they're not close whatsoever. Put this one in there. And let's get our last one. And we should be able to tell the unit to finish up what it's doing. This is what I wanted to do with hay bales originally. I wanted to just, you know, make lines of hay bales and have them safe from water because uh, that's really what we use it for in real life. Um, silage is not as big of a use for them um, simply because there's just better ways of making silage. 
or I guess haylage it would be. That's the thing I don't get in the game. I mean, I, I know it's to make it simplistic, but, you know, silage comes from corn and has a lot more moisture to it. Whereas haylage is from hay, obviously, and has a lot less moisture in it, but does a similar process. So if we do R, okay, so it finishes it out. Now that's done. If I start it up, I should be able to oop, drive it up and drive it away and have it sit over here somewhere. And just like that, we've got silage bales. Uh, yeah, 96 hours to go. It's about four days. And it shows it all in one shot here. And we do not want to cut open the bale yet. Give us the option, but we don't want to do that yet. Um, so we got silage. We've got, well, we will have silage. We've got a bunch of hay bales here. I don't have any straw over here, but that's okay. I'm not that worried about it. Um, I guess I'm going to get some corn worked up here. Uh, it's still too wet, but I think this afternoon it should be wet, dry enough. Um, I'll have to check the moisture of the field. But, uh, ooh, that was a bad turn. But I'm going to get all the corn taken off before going any further this with, with the cows. Um, but we will get the cows here in just a bit. Um, so I'll meet you guys back here when it's dried out and I'm progressing more. All right, guys, it is very much raining out. Uh, it started raining this morning right away. Uh, I worked late into the night last night because I saw the forecast how it was going to be, so I uh, got all the corn in. I probably could have left it because I was reading that, unlike in previous versions of Seasons, um, it doesn't just kill your crops off when the first winter comes. It won't kill it off until the frost hits. Uh, so you can get... You can harvest into the first parts of winter. Um, actually, this is not where I want to go. This isn't going to get me anywhere. As you can see, I've got a bright, shiny new cattle trailer. I had a choice between the two of them. I'll show you guys. You got this one, which we got, and this one. Um, the difference being... This one can handle more cows, less sheep, and pigs. This one has two less cows, but more pigs, more sheep. Mostly to this one because if we're going to be selling pigs, I feel like it'd be beneficial for us. Oh, okay, so we can just do based on age. Because all I want, I just want to, uh, I just want Holsteins, I think. Of course, there's some Ayrshire cows, but I don't think they produce as well. So yeah, Holstein is the queen of milk production. This requ breed requires a lot of feed and is expensive to buy up front, produces the most milk. Then you've got Ayrshire farmers can rest assured that low feed consumption and price per head are both two well worthy trade offs for lower milk production. Sailor is a cheaper option for starting farmers as they're known for their high marbling carcasses that can return a def decent investment and market. So, more of a beef cattle. So, this is a beef as well. Um, looks like all the Brahmin are. But we're going for milk. So we're going to get 12 of them right off the bat. Actually, I think what we're going to end up doing, it's only 24,000. I think we're going to spend and get like 50 cows right out of the bat here. 
or close to it, I guess. So I'm gonna load them up. I'm gonna move them over here. We gotta get some feed going. Unfortunately, though, it's raining. I hate that. I hate working in the rain. But it is what it is. It's gonna. It's gonna be what works out for us best here. So. see here I'm guessing right in here is gonna be our dialogue yep okay so we've got cows outside probably should have drove this in a little bit better um, so let me get... Are they all outside? Nope, there's some inside. So they can move in and out of the building, which is cool. Although I feel like there should be a gate. Yeah, that should be closed. Definitely, because otherwise they can walk right down the middle. And that's going to allow them to get out. So you guys can stay... I guess out here. Um, next thing I want to do here is purchase a purchase this. So I'd like to pay fifteen hundred to install a new pipeline to allow direct filling. Yes, so I don't have to bring water to them. Maintenance is five dollars a day. That I can handle. So he's gonna show up tomorrow morning and install it, and then we're gonna have water here. Why is there actually water in there? Does rain fill it up? Shows 245. Not fertile. Why is it not fertile? I guess each one actually has capability plus you've got poundage here so that's how you get your your cell point here. Um, I don't know why there's water. I speed it up a little bit. It changed. 216. And they're all going to go down because they have no food. Um, where is our other tractor? Oh, that one's there. You know, I never actually um, emptied this out into the bin. Probably should have done that, because otherwise this corn's probably pretty soaked. Luckily that's not uh, an actual event. Um, to give you guys an idea, though. Oh, this silo's full. I've got 200,000 units here in this silo. So that's a lot of corn. So I'm actually going to leave this out for now. I'm going to have to ship this out probably because I'm not going to move it to the other farm. And this guy... Oh, he was doing some uh, contract work. So I'm going to have to bring him over there and fill up some of the items. Um, I was told that you don't have to use... TMR to get the same like percentage wise for health that you could just put the, the hay and the silage in separate. Obviously we don't have silage yet. We're waiting for the bales to turn over into silage. Um, so I'm going to test that out to see what that all works out with. So Let me get some more cows in there. Let me get some feed for them so that they're actually eating. And uh, Hopefully it doesn't freeze up by tomorrow. I'll show you guys the the water, the auto water thing, how that's working, because that won't be in until tomorrow. And then hopefully I can get some plowing done tomorrow as well. So I'll meet you guys back here when it's not so noisy and rainy. Burr, it is a cold winter morning. 
It was 32 degrees this morning when the sun came up. 34 now, the ground is still pretty warm, but it is officially the first day of winter. And we are here at the shop to pick up a plow, uh, is what we're looking at. Uh, we can't get the real big one here, 550 horse. So we're gonna have to go with this one. Our tractor's like 356, so it's pretty much perfect. Um, so we'll buy this guy. I have not used this one. This is this is a big plow. Very big plow. Uh, we're still waiting for our water to get hooked up. See here, it trails really well. It's actually not that wide, but if you expand it out to working with, it's pretty good sized. Oop. So if we go like right here, you can see, yeah, it almost does the width of the road. Makes for a big plow, that's for sure. Um, yeah, we're waiting for the water to get put in, which is concerning me because the cows are going out of water and now their health is down below 40%. Um, it's also showing that they're not very clean. So we're going to have to do something with that. Um, I have a feeling I should just pick up like a skid loader or something. Uh, something that we can use. I guess just for animal use. So we can move uh, bales around. Probably have a bucket on it. So we can scoop stuff up. We're probably going to have to basically work with the animals every day. This is the way it's looking. Um, which is actually kind of realistic. Uh, the other thing I'm noticing as I'm driving this back, let's uh, try to get on our side of the road here. So hopefully we don't get hit by a car as we're coming along here. So if I go in here, the other thing I noticed is not fertile. Basically what that's saying is, and I looked it up, um, they follow the normal progression if you were to have, let's say, beef animals. So you impregnate the cows in the springtime and, actually no, that's not for beef. Beef generally you impregnate them in the summer, late summer, um, the year before so that they have in the springtime. Apparently with the cows it's sometime winterish and then they're supposed to have the calves in the fall I was told. I don't know we're gonna have to see what happens. But regardless they are basically heifers meaning that they've never given birth birth to a calf yet so therefore they cannot produce milk. At least that part they have realistic. Um, I was hoping you could actually buy some cattle that were already impregnated but I guess that's not the case unless they're available from time to time but we're gonna pull into our field here because we need to get this guy plowing um, we're gonna have to see how this works we do not want him to be able to create fields this thing does not back up very nicely which is, it makes sense, it's a plow. Plows are not made to back up nicely. They never are. All right, we'll just go with that. We're just gonna set it down. Nope, it's starting to miss stuff. I think we're gonna have to run, ooh. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was watching the tractor, not the plow. All right, let's try this again. I think we're going to want to run the tractor, like, right along here. Right on the edge of the field. Why does it look like...
That part's not folding out like it's supposed to. Here, let's try something here. There, it's following like it should now. I don't know, it's not tracking correctly. Maybe it's because I was backing up. So let's try to line this guy back up again. So I'm gonna put the edge of the tractor tire right there. Okay, that looks better. So it's going to be a slow process. At least we can hire somebody for it. And I have no idea how that's going to work out. Um, oh, I was going to fertilize the field before he plowed it, but that's okay. Um, actually, the field that he's doing right now needs to be... Um, have lime put down on it as well. Uh, there's just lots of things that need to be done here. So I'm going to fertilize this field at least. Get one step of it done. Oh, we are going to have to plow that section there too, aren't we? So I'm just going to let this guy go. I guess he might go either way because I guess the hay field needs fertilizing as well. Um, so what is what is our best bet for getting for the animals. So we could get a telehandler for 69 with this one right here. We could get a skid loader again. We could get a tracked one. That's going to take forever to get home, but it would just be for the cows. So that would make sense. But the telehandler would be nice for other things as well. There's actually, what is there in here? I'm not double clicking on things. Just thinking hold. I don't actually know what it can hold. What can it hold? Oh, it's for liquid manure. Flurry tank or manure spreader module allow you to do different things. Interesting. What's this guy? Oh, he's a ground collection guy. Probably works a lot better than belts, is what it comes down to. It's also a smaller front end loader. What's the difference here? A little bit of horsepower, and one's a Manitou, and one's a Massey. Huh. Well, either way, I'm going to have to sell some items, aren't I? It's a good question. Well, I guess I'm going to have to think about that. And uh, let me sell some things here, and I know it's probably getting a little bit late, but uh, oh, he is not plowing the whole way. He got in. Well, this is going to get messy, I think. That plow is not going to be ideal, but I guess we only have to use it from time to time, just for new fields. So I'll survive. Um, yeah, the episode's getting long, I'm sure, but I want to get the water going here. Um, and I think I have to wait till 1600 hours here and it's only 10. Uh, so let me keep working here. I'll get some stuff plowed up and we'll see where we end up. Um, I'll probably get some something for use for the cows. Uh, for moving bales around and stuff like that and a bucket as well. Um, 
So I'll meet you guys back for that, and we'll finish up the episode then. Alright guys, here we are back at the shop. I'm still waiting for the water thing to go. It's supposed to go around the 1600 hour, it says. So, in the meantime, uh, first of all, we're going to get our low loader here. Ooh, we can change the color. I think black works. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Matches some of our other stuff. Let's purchase that. And then on top of that, we need um, our telehandler. I've decided that's what we want to get. And I think we're going to get the Massey one. It's a cheaper one by a little bit at least. Um, I think I'm going to go with these tires. Uh, it just looks better. Wait, why does it say wheel set? Oh, I can't change wheel setup. Okay. Yeah, I like those tires better. It'll work better on pavement. It makes more sense for what we're actually using it for. And then we need the utensils. So we're going to need the bail fork. Get that guy. And then we're going to need a bucket or a shovel, as they seem to want to call it. I don't know why that's listed as a shovel. That's kind of a weird name for it. And then the other thing I'm looking for is it under miscellaneous here. Um, Multi-tool, bumper. Not seeing it. Maybe under levelers? Nope, that's chaff silage. No, that doesn't help. Boy, I don't know where else it would be. Um, I'm looking for some snow removal tools. And I'm not sure where they're supposed to be. It's something we're going to have to get coming up here. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some looking around. I don't even know what brand it would be, so... Oh, what was that? Did that finish? We're also doing a contract right now. Uh, no, it's just wage payment and new vehicles. So it's the top of the hour, basically. So it is 1,600 hours now. Hopefully the water thing is done. I'm waiting for a notification. Um, figured there would be one. So let's hook up this low loader. And we'll get her in a little bit better position. Hopefully it doesn't get caught on the ground here. Looks like we're okay. We'll turn it a bit. Try not to hit anything. And we'll switch over to the, the back side here. And if you remember, we can detach that. It stays hooked up to the truck itself. And we can pull anything we want out of there. Uh, he's still plowing. And there's just fertilizing the neighbor's field. So we'll grab this guy. And uh, I suppose we'll get up to the bale fork first. There we go. I feel like we used this last season. I'm not entirely sure, but it just it sounds and looks kind of familiar. I guess they'll probably all look about the same. Uh, so we'll pull this guy up onto here. Maybe put it... No, let's not put it up there. Let's put it down below here. I think it'll travel better if it's down below. Yeah, right there. And we'll go over and grab our shovel, aka our bucket. That suspension articulation looked pretty good there going off the bump. Grab that, that was really, that was a messy hookup, but that's okay, it's still hooked up, right? And we should be able to just Drive up on here and use the bucket to hold down the bale fork, right? Right about there. Yeah. That should work great. We'll hook the tractor back, the truck back up. Oh, I can't. Yep, yeah, I can't put straps on, can't extend that, I guess. Maybe we can do that once we hook up. Line it up. Hooks on, and doesn't look like there is an option. We can extend it. 
but that's about it. So you can't do side extensions, and you can't strap the load down. I guess that's the same options, or I guess lack of options that we had in previous uh, versions of the game, so at least they're being consistent. And we're going to end up using this low loader, I would say quite a bit more, uh, moving items around, picking stuff up from the shop, because when you've got equipment that travels, especially this thing, it travels less than 20 miles an hour, um, being able to travel close to 50 miles an hour and take all of the utensils at once, actually I don't know if utensils is a proper term. Um, implements all in one shot um, oh crap this is too much of a hill isn't it um, can we shift it sideways no getting stuck um, if we can't get up this hill this is gonna be an issue we might have to take the other road let's still walk up oh, it's going it's going there we go I think we're clear now I mean, to be fair, it is a low loader. It's going to be not far off the ground, I guess. Uh, in fact, in real life, um, by my parents' place, there is a railroad tracks that is actually considered dangerous for low loaders to go across because they'll actually get stuck. Uh, it has happened, and they had to stop trains from coming through. So it's definitely something if you're trucking that you got to watch out for. Um, I don't think any of these hills here will catch. At least I hope not. Doesn't seem like it. Um, probably got to watch out for this gravel pile coming up here. Let's see, is it at this road? No, that's just a driveway. I guess the road's up by the farm. Um, yeah, right here. And if you look, this uh, this road connection is a lot less steep um, so our best bet's probably to take the low loader on that trip up that road instead of the road that we took this time um, we'll see if I remember that next time we use it so hopefully that works out it is starting to get dark already it's only 4 30 in the afternoon and I guess winter time is really starting to set in They're doing a good job they actually uh, they asked for the latitude oh it does have a beacon look at that um, I asked for the latitude of the farm and I put in the latitude for Wisconsin up here so I don't know it seems like the Sun sits lower than it actually does in real life maybe they're not getting the tilt quite right but um, it's halfway decent so let's get rid of the beacon I don't really want it running and uh, we'll take this to the farm Oops, I totally blew through that stop sign. Um, luckily there was no cops around. Because otherwise that would have been the probably a hefty fine. Uh, so let's bring this to the farm. Let's see if we can clean up the animals. Uh, that's the big thing I'm worried about is that cleanliness is really low. And of course water is an issue. So we need to do something about the water. I don't know why we haven't gotten a message for it yet because I believe it's been... It's had enough time. Um, let's see. So we pull this off to the side. We should be able to get in this guy. Uh, we'll use the bucket first. See if we can get some. Yeah, push that. Make sure that doesn't fall over. Uh, let's see if we can get some of this stuff cleaned up, which is ideally what the bucket's for. All right, so I can see it's down the center of the barn here. So let's see if we can get any of this picked up. Um, not picking anything up. Oh, we got a little bit there. Um, it's not picking up any of the rest of it though. Maybe if we pitch it a little more. No, it's not working. What's going on here? And I dumped out. Oh great. Where'd it go? Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand. It's not picking up any of it. Unless it's because it's a modded building. Um, it was included with the map. Maybe something's bugged on it. Um, but yeah, it's not, not changing anything. We're getting a little low on hay and silage, but I'm really worried about the health. We're down to 28% now. I'm afraid the animals are going to start dying. I'm pretty sure Seasons gives the ability for that if the health gets too low. That's a lot of money down the drain if that happens. Yeah, for the life of me, I can't get this to pick up. Um, I'm going to have to check into that, see what kind of bug there is. Of course, we could always use the mod that we used last, well not last season, FS17's uh, seasons where the animals actually get cleaned up on their own. Um, there's a script that runs on it. Maybe that's what we're going to have to do because no matter what I do here, I can't get it to pick anything up. It's just not working at all. So something's glitched or something's not right. And I'm not sure what it is. Huh. Let's see, switch. Oh wait, we didn't have to switch. Oh, let's stop. Oh shoot, I missed it again. Okay, um, let's head down here. Let's head out by the water. Uh, see if we notice anything out here. Uh, before it was telling me it had so much time before it was built. And now it's, a, oh, it's a start filling. Oh. So we still manually have to come over here and fill it. We just don't have to do it with a tanker. There we go. Well, let's hope the health starts coming up. We're gonna have to do something. Oh, the cleanliness moved. It's not 41%, it's 48% now. So maybe that stuff that got dumped technically went into the trough. That's entirely possible. Helper D is blocked by an object. Um, oh, it's not the guy plowing. Oh, it's this guy. Boy, he really backed himself into a corner there. Well, it is definitely getting quite dark here. So I think we're going to have to wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to look into what's going on with the animals, um, why that's not functioning correctly. Uh, hopefully we don't have to sell the, sell the farm and buy, build the other building, because I do like this building. Um, oh, what, what is that? Milk contract. What? I don't know what this is. Um, I guess we're going to have to find out when we start getting some milk. But uh, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to wrap things up. And like I said, I don't know what we're going to do for the winter, if we're going to do some logging. Um, probably be a beneficial for us to do during the winter time here. Yep, I can't fill it anymore because it's full. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll come back when it's a little bit winter. So with that, guys, thank you guys all for watching. And as always, take it easy.